Hello beautiful Scorpio, welcome to your love tarot reading. This is your weekly reading from November, uh, December the 20th to the 26th of December. In my December readings, I keep saying November, I don't even know why. Anyway Scorpio, hello, how are you all doing? This is, uh, this is your reading for you and your person, your weekly reading. And uh, your person, you know, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Uh, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart. Uh, and just bear in mind, this is a general reading. So whatever resonates, take it. And what doesn't, just throw it away. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, um, Scorpio, uh, all the information is in the, the description box below. And if you vibe with my videos and you like my channel, you know what to do. Uh, like the video, comment below, subscribe to my channel. It helps me out no end as a small new creator on YouTube. And if you've already subscribed and if you're watching my videos, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Scorpio. I really appreciate the love. Um, I'm so so, so grateful for all the love actually and big shout out as always to Angie who has an amazing uh, Scorpio tarot channel so if you like Scorpio stuff and you can never get enough uh, you probably already know her but if you don't know her uh, her channel is linked uh, in the description box below alongside some other channels that I um, that I love and support so let's see what's happening with you Scorpio I'm also a Scorpio so, you know, you're in good company here. Uh, show me angels, please, what is happening. I mean, you know, <laughs> even though I say so myself anyway. Um, show me angels what's happening with Scorpio and their person. Hmm. It's like the cards don't want to say a lot today. Oh, uh, the script situation. <laughs> Of some deep, deep-ish Scorpio. Very Scorpio. How Scorpio of you to be in this deep Scorpio connection. Oh, boy. You have two major arcana here. This is almost like, this is, whoever you're dealing with, this is not, this is not for the faint-hearted, this connection. You have Judgment and the High Priestess, two major arcana. And in this deck in particular, look, uh, the Judgment is uh, the god Hermes, the messenger of the gods, and here you have Persephone, the goddess of, um, the, the wife of Hades, the god of hell, right? Um, and they're both in the underworld. They're both depicted with the same background. They're both uh, uh, crossing over into the unconscious, the deep darkness, the underworld, uh, hell, you know, whatever symbolism uh, appeals to you whatever tradition appeals to you. This is deep, deep connections here. This is two people and you know, counterparts too, quite possibly. You do have two figures, uh, gender is arbitrary, so disregard it. It is only energies, but you have, you know, two possible counterparts and they're both quite healing too. Uh, Hermes is also the uh, god of medicine, psychology, uh, you know, the psyche, the mind going deep within. Um, yeah, Persephone also has, uh, the healing uh garnet the, the garnet fruit here um that is the fruit of eternal life and healing <sighs> things coming up from the dead too like the high priestess and judgment here you know those are two very very powerful energies very magician also magician lots of magician energy here between these two cards whatever this connection was in the recent past this was a very very deep connection you were both like the way you look at each other scorpio you and your person you're like it's like you look into that person's eyes and they look into your person's eye, uh, they look into your eyes and you both know this is a deeper level thing. This is a higher level. This is something it's like, wow, like you see your past lives in each other, in each other's lives. If that's something you, you believe in or just like, you know, you just see things, great things, profound things. It's like you connect so deeply that you connect, like you almost connect to magic. Like this love is magical, but it's, uh, it's difficult for some reason. There's some kind of a barrier between you, even though you're both walking down these steps towards each other. I feel like there's barriers between you. There's like a deep understanding between you two. You have a very deep understanding. You understand each other without words. For some of you, this connection never took off. Like it's literally a new connection. A, a never took off because there was some barrier between you i see you both stop like god hermes has stopped she's stopping walking there's something like there's a barrier you couldn't it's like you couldn't get together for some reason there's something taboo about this quite possibly for some of you something taboo about this relationship 
Um, if it was a long-term connection, it was a deep, deep, that's if it's new, right? If it's a long-term connection, it's deep. It runs so deep. This is one of those, like, this is more than a ride or die. This is just like electric. Like you met, you can keep your hands off of each other almost, you know? It's like physical, but it's like soul blending relationship. This is what Scorpio thrives on. Could be another Scorpio you're dealing with. It could be another Scorpio. Wow. You could both be quite spiritual. You've got the page of swords here though as well. Uh, some kind of information was uncovered and here with the judgment also, see this is the other meaning for what happened recently in the recent past. A high priestess is some secret and judgment, some secret was, was brought to light. A secret from the past was resurrected. Someone um, tried to heal a situation, but they couldn't because the, the weight of the secret, whatever came up from the past, was so like destructive. It caused a moment of final judgment, and the moment of final judgment left you uh, by yourself, Scorpio. It was like, you know, if it was a, a more established connection, a secret came up from the past. And it was unstoppable. This connection had to come to a halt. It's. I feel like this connection is at a halt. I don't think it's over. But I think you're on a break. Or it's, yeah, there's a halt here. Strength, yeah. Like it's being repressed. Feelings, emotions, uh, contact is being repressed currently. You're both trying to be strong. You're both trying not to give in. Like, you know, be the one, first one to communicate or something like that. Some kind of secret. Yeah, the devil. It wasn't a pleasant secret. Someone had a secret, dark secret from the past. Could have been from before they knew you. Or they had a secret about having some kind of an addictive situation. They were in some kind of an addiction doing things behind your back. Um, yeah, I feel like it was your person who had that secret. But if you're a cross watcher, oh, by the way, a cross watcher, welcome to Scorpio World. Don't shoot the messenger. But yeah, maybe it's going to be switched for you a little bit. But... Your person had a deep secret. It was so deep and dark. We'll clarify that in a second. It was so deep and dark. And everything came to a halt. You're on a break. Maybe, um, I don't feel like it was def necessarily like if it's a new connection. It, like you're on a break. If it was a, a more established relationship, you're like on a break. It was like, I want to say there's nothing left to say. Or what else can I say? Or what can I say to this? Like, what can I do now? What can I say? That's you saying that's Scorpio to your person. And your person wants, to, but your person wants to heal this still. They wanted to heal it then and they want to heal it now. A message may have arrived for you. Uh, some kind of secret was unearthed. Your person doesn't know how to feel about, about you and about the situation currently. They have a lot of pride in them. You're two very strong energies, two strong arcana. They have a lot of pride. Some of cups, they don't know how to feel about the situation. They don't know what their feelings are towards you because they feel humiliated by the situation. They may, in a funny way, your person may feel betrayed by you, that you didn't stand by them, even though this like bad secret came out. And you have strength to, again, strength. Uh, you're trying not to think about it, just like your person. In your own way, you're trying to repress your emotions because you don't know what to think about the situation. What your person wants is for you to get back together and talk, Knight of, of Pentacles. They want communication and movement. They know it has to be slow because a, a trust needs to be established. But what you want is some time to yourself to think about the situation for a sword. You need to meditate on this problem. Tell me please, angels, what was the secret that came out? What was the secret that came out? Wow. And if it's a new connection, you know, it's just, it's something about this person you found out. I feel like it, you were like stalking their social media and you saw something. You know, like you saw something or you Googled their name and something came up. And it's a deep, dark secret. Very serious stuff. Yeah, it could be remark regarding money and stability, bad business practices, dishonesty, three of wands, and king of pentacles. Yeah, instability, bad business practice. Maybe some dealings they had with an ex as well regarding money. Let's see. Can we be more specific, please, angels? Can we be more specific? Even more? Yeah, it was their dealings with the world. It was uh, their de the dealings this person had with the world. Uh, definitely involving money. Definitely, quite possibly, involving people from the past that they were dating. Or people who were their spouse. Like some kind of, you know, settlement. It's it's some it's some something scandalous regarding money and an ex. 
or uh, something scandalous regarding money and um, just like their dating practices, it, what could have come up uh, from their past is that they, they uh, this is gonna be very specific for some of you, but it's, you know, it's that kind of general energy. Uh, the world card here, this is, uh, you know, what came up is like what they were doing in the world before they met you. I feel like it's before you. Uh, for some of you, it could be during, but I don't think so. I feel like this person was, you know, this is their interaction with worldly things before they were in a connection with you. Um, yeah, their attitude towards the world, what they brought into the world. And what, what this is regarding is money and relationships or relationship to money. It could be dishonesty. It could be bad dealings. It could be, you know, um, them being a little bit crooked. It could also be some settlement they had with an ex-partner, someone making allegations uh, about them. And also here, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, it could be something um, as specific as this person was doing, like, um... How do I say this in a YouTube friendly way? Uh, this person was either paying for services or selling services in terms of love. Um, sugar baby situation, sugar daddy kind of thing, sugar mama, uh, or even more professional. It could be like as like very like specific as that. Take it as it resonates. Tell me in the comments below. Or they could have been accused of taking money from someone or exchanging money or shortchanging someone. They might be in a dispute with the spouse. But like for you, it was just like, it was something that was like just like scandalous like i i hear scandalous i feel scandalous um that was just uh uh, uh mm, distasteful to you it was something distasteful that you didn't like and this person it's like they wanted to offer an explanation but they they were stumped they didn't know what to say either because uh these accusations or allegations even maybe for some of you in some of your situations they're not 100 percent true there's a grain of truth to this Let's see what this person's next action will be. Then we'll get some advice for you, Scorpio. This is a spicy Scorpio reading, as usual. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, abandonment. You both feel abandoned by each other, actually. This person really wants to heal the situation, though. If they could drink poison, if they thought that if they drank poison, you would love them just for that five minutes before they died from the poison, they would drink the poison. Oh, now I want to cry. This person is really distraught. I'm getting really upset. Okay, let's see this person's next action, please. Please, angels. Please, next action. This is such a tragic story. I don't know what... Tell me, Scorpio, in the comments below. What is the story? Yeah, they're going to come in. They're going to want to work on it. Um, it may be a slow coming, slow moving, but Eight of Pentacles here. For this week, they're going to work on it. They're either going to work on a message for you that they're going to deliver, um probably by the end of the year. Maybe they'll, they'll use the holiday period as an excuse. Um, for some of you, they'll come in to work on it, but it's this is a slow moving card, so it may not all happen within this week, but uh, you know, Charity here tells me that you're gonna move forward here, Scorpio, for yourself, either with like towards this person or away from them. Let's clarify some more. Uh, tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles for this week. Uh, I do see them coming in. They're not gonna give up on this. They feel like they, this is going to sound super like tragic and whatever and uh, hyperbolic, but they really feel like life is not worth living without you. Yeah, I do feel them trying to approach um, Six of Wands here. You know, they're going to claim their victory with you here uh, uh, probably this week, if not this week, next week in the holiday period, definitely. And the chariot, yeah, I don't know which way you're going to move. Uh, you know best, Scorpio. It's up to you. But you know movement is necessary. You see, uh, Tara does want to say justice. Movement will happen. Justice will be served. You will judge them. You know, again, judgment, justice, strong arcana here. Very strong arcana. You will make uh, the final judgment on this. And this person knows that. This And this person knows, too, that you're someone who is just. You will not be unjust with them. You will make the just decision, even if it's painful, even if it means walking away because their past, whatever caught up with them from their past, could be something you cannot forget. And if it's a new connection, you know, um, this is about having an honest conversation about, you know, who you both really are. But you have such a deep connection here, Scorpio. I can't, like, 
oh, I just feel it so deep. The High Priestess in Judgment in this deck is like, this is like, you, you met, if this is a new person, you met and you just like, that was it. Maybe you met at a party, maybe you met online, whatever it was. You're just like, that for it, like you met and you looked at each other and it was just like, that was it. There's no, no one else other than you two. It was just magnetic. It's insane. It is insane. It's so deep and strong. What is the advice here for Scorpio, please? Justice again. Oh, Scorpio. Can we have one more, please? Hmm. Be careful of disappointment. This isn't lost. What you need to do, Scorpio, is just be careful. Five of Cups of disappointment in the sense that you need to cover all bases with this person. When you talk, you guys need to really talk with a capital T and get all the secrets out, including your own, because Scorpio has secrets too. You don't want to give them all your secrets. Obviously, if it's a new person, you don't know who this person is, right? But including your own, because there may be things uh, down the line where like it's a little bit this person then something will be like about you. There's going to be something this person doesn't like about you. There's just there could be a lot of disappointment between the two of you because you both could have trust issues here. Uh, this five of cups is very trust issuey. You need to like, yeah, investigate from every every angle. Make sure. Also make sure that you appreciate what you have. Think about how important this connection is or could be to you. And make the decision wisely, basically. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't cry. You know, maybe there's something about this person that's so horrific that you can't get over it. But the Four of Cups is also about that. You know, getting over things that bother us because the big picture is actually quite positive. So just be careful about your own disappointment. You know, regulating your own disappointment and expectations. And also covering your bases. Because this person could still disappoint you or you could still disappoint them. So when you talk, you need to be very open about a lot of different things. There shouldn't be no secrets here. This woman is holding a lamp. Shine the lamp all around the room so there's nothing lurking in the corners but also give things a chance even though they seem hopeless justice again you know uh, Tara was saying it will be as you decide it will be as you judge it will be as you make it be you're very powerful here you are coming up as the high priestess uh Scorpio um you, you know yourself the, the high priestess is she is the one who knows he she anyone in between right she is the one who knows you know yourself, you, you know already. And this connection, I just want to say to Scorpio as well, uh, this connection you have with this person, this is enduring. It has nothing to do with what you decide. Whatever this is, I, you know, I, I don't specifically read for things like soul, like I have my own uh, view of soulmates and destiny relationship and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't do like uh, specific soulmate readings, but this is like, this is in, like intense. Whatever this mystery is, uh, there's a mystery between you. There's a history and it goes beyond, like it goes back a long time and it is not from this lifetime. It is, this is not even from this lifetime. There's like, whatever it is, you're, I don't know where you're, like you're both from somewhere. You have a connection that's just so deep. That's so, and the recognition is immediate. This reading is for those people where, like, in your connection, you were like immediately you met. It was love at first sight, but it was so like overpowering. You couldn't you, you couldn't get each other out of your minds. But you will make the right decision. Um, be fair. Be fair. Even if you feel you know a passion about this or betrayed by this person, if you've been in a connection for a longer amount of time, or maybe you weren't able. Um, I know we started this reading and I said um, also that there's something taboo about this connection. There may be that too. There could be something taboo about this connection, this person. Um, it's not so much about a secret as like, you know, there's like something uh, forbidden about this relationship. But it's so strong that you should hear this person out when they come in to try and work it out. You should hear them out because the connection is so, so strong. This is very exceptional. This is something I don't, this is something you don't see a lot in tarot. Or in life, this is something. This is a, a like once in many lifetimes opportunity for love so deep, but it could be that this love brings a lot of suffering too because it's so difficult. It's so difficult, but you love each other very much, and this love will never die. Wow, Scorpio, uh, thank you for uh, for allowing me to spend time with you today and read for you. Thank you, thank you for joining me for your tarot reading. Let me know in the comments below. 
And if this is your story, how it resonated, and most importantly, tell me if your person came in, um, and what this what this intensity means uh, between the two of you, uh, Scorpio. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing tarot reading. Uh, I wish love was easier, but it never is, is it? Even when you're the judgment and the high priestess, even if you're two magicians, two mages, two, I don't know, even if it's from, even if it's a connection from a, a seven lifetimes ago, it's still, it's still hard. It's still hard. Uh, thank you, Scorpio. Uh, I will see you next time and may the angels protect you.